Nomad is an exciting new iPad sculpting tool that's launching this week. Um, it's an amazing fully featured sculpting package with painting, sculpting, remeshing, everything that you could want in a sculpting package and it's another one available on the iPad so it's well worth a look and I'll just quickly show you this creature being made in a time lapse and I'll, des I'll describe some of the main features that I've been seeing and using in the first week of using it. So jump in. Have a look, see if you like any of these features that you can find here in Nomad. So this is Nomad on my iPad. Um, this came out this week and I've really enjoyed using it for the, the time that, that I've had it. Um, it's a very, very simple package to learn. Um, if you're already familiar with something like um, Forger on the iPad, then you'll know what kind of things to expect. But obviously different packages do it in different ways and there's strengths and weaknesses that we'll look at over the next few weeks. But for now, let's just take a quick whiz around the interface and look at what Nomad has got to offer and why we might want to, to dive right in. So while I'm talking, there's going to be a time lapse in the bottom corner there. And you'll be able to watch me make this creature um, that's obviously time ramped um, so that we can just focus on just getting our, our, our quick chat around the, the interface in a few minutes rather than the hour that it took me to make the creature. So let's just start with what we can see on screen on the start on the left hand side. So the panels um, along here are all very self-explanatory really. So you've got a file save system and an import system and you can bring your own models in and you can export um, exactly as you would expect OBJs. So you can that means you can take the color out. Um, so anything you paint can go out to programs like uh, ZBrush and Blender and Maya. And it'll go out as a as vertex paint, so it's it's sent out straight away to that program with the model. Um, one thing that you you will want to know about is the layering system for the individual parts of the model. So you've got a very um, a very normal, I would say, um, layering system that's similar. If you're used to Photoshop, for example, it's very similar. The eye will turn it on and off. You can rename it with the pen and you can copy it and you can delete it. So it's very, very familiar to anyone who's using a lot of different digital um, sculpted packages. Um, you can bring in um, normal primitives, so boxes, uh, cylinders, torus, plane, UV sphere. So all, all the things you'd want to, to have in there. This is um, obviously, this panel is something that's always very important to me. So you've got voxel remeshing. So um, this is where we basically remesh the whole model as we're sculpting. In other programs, you might see it called DynaMesh or you might see it as um, DynoTopo in Blender. Um, but basically, this has got the, 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 exactly the feature that you would want. And you can also do a multi-resolution up here. You've got um, subdivide. So if you've got a straightforward um, sphere and you just want more resolution, you can just subdivide it up um, and that'll give you more resolution to work on. So lots to look at in there. Lots of different um, settings in here to work through. Um, this is one thing I do like, which is the PBR, which is physically based rendering. And you've got, you know, you've got HDRIs in there and you can spin those around. So this is much more like Substance or, or Blender or any of the any of the programs like Marmoset Toolbag. And you've also got a transparency built in there, which I do quite like. Uh, and you can change that. There's some built-in HDRIs there for you to play with as well. So there's lots to have a look at in that regard, which is quite refreshing in this kind of program. And then there's obviously the matcap materials. Uh, and again, you you know, this is what you would be used to in programs, again, like ZBrush and, and Blender. So there's lots and lots to play with there. And I was quite impressed with, with everything in, in there. Um, uh, background, obviously we've got the blur, the environment, bring the, the environment back and the exposure. That's fantastic. And then lots of camera settings. So you, things like your, you know, your field of view as you, you know, if you're working on something that you want very um, orthographic, then you just swing it all the way down like that. If you want to go back and, you, you know, put quite extreme and from a low angle or a high angle, um, it makes it quite, quite useful uh, to change that camera view. Um, you got lots, lots of other features um, that uh, 
basically you've got things like this focused so you can double tap on the mesh um, and just brings it into into focus um, double tap on the background to focus on the background so lo lots of little settings in there the tool panel <coughs> excuse me the tool panel down the side um, again quite familiar to, to, to anyone um, that's uh, used this kind of um, digital package before so the tools are clay brush move drag smooth mask paint smudge and then all the way down everything that you would expect is in there i was quite impressed with it your gizmo and your ability to move your model is the same as as a lot of other programs so you've got an xyz drag along the axis um and then you've got rotate and you've got scale as well so everything you would expect is in there um, what I do like about this one is when you look here on, on things like the brush and the clay and then you go back over into your settings, you know, there's lots and lots to play with with the brush settings. So you can really go to town with, with the alpha of the brush itself and all of the settings that you'd like, stroke spacing. Um, so lots and lots to play with there. Uh, I won't focus on those tools because over the next few weeks I am going to cover all of the tool set. Um, much more about the stroke there. Uh, symmetry is fantastic. So uh, I made this model completely symmetrically, then broke it at some point. And you've got symmetry down here. Um, and that basically gives you the ability to pop it on and off as, as you're working. Sometimes you'll want it, sometimes you won't. Uh, lots more settings there about your radius and your, your intensity. So uh, if, if you um, switch in between here uh, the brush settings and the pressure sensitivity gives you a good control of, of what you're using. Layers, lots of layers again, and you can uh, again you can use these to control your model. So you might want to make the eyes open and close. Well, you do it all on layers, so that's built in. And your settings, your display settings. There's lots of things like that. Like for example, the the thing I'm looking at is transparent. You can change all of that, which I found quite quite useful lots of settings within the the core of it so even things about the tool order is done here and you know and you can change the tool order around to suit your need um so fully featured really uh i've really enjoyed uh using it the buttons down here on the bottom left that you might be able to see you can configure these from your settings panels up here and you can say things like i want my voxel remesh here on the on the panel on the bottom left so that's quite useful to be able to make the program do what you what you want to do. So obviously that's something I use all the time. If you followed my videos, you'll know that. Um, you've got an undo history down here, a focus, um, undo, redo. Um, and then obviously the one that I've just said, which is the, the remesh. I've just remeshed this model now. So... I'd, I'd encourage you to get, have a look on the app. So it's called Nomad. Go and go and um, explore it a little bit. It's only um, very, very cheap in the big scheme of things when you compare it to the, the, the full packages. You, you know, you may like it. It might be the, 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 the program that works for you. Um, and I would definitely encourage you to ha have a go of it over the course of about a week just to see if it suits your style. But I've definitely enjoyed it definitely something I, I would recommend that you have a look at and I'm going to be using it a lot in the next few weeks. We're focusing a lot on digital sculpting on the iPad so we've covered Forger for a long long time now and we're now covering programs like Nomad and ob obviously those of you that do follow the channel will know that we do a lot of things like Adobe Medium, it used to be Oculus Medium and things like Gravity Sketch which are both VR programs and we do cover a lot of VR creation tools so if that's something that you like, something that you're interested in then subscribe to the channel, like any of our videos that are relevant to you and drop us a comment about what you want us to do more of so if it's more VR let us know if it's more things like this and programs on the iPad and, and, and more different ways to create your art then let us know. Hit the notification bell and we can let you know when we upload content, which at the moment is every Friday and it's going to be every Wednesday and Friday coming up soon. So go and try Nomad. Let us know how you get on.